You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us spread. Run them up. This is what he does. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. And the Oscar goes to... And just as soon as she fooled all these idiots, she pulled out the GoFundMe. She got all these black female suckers and these black male simps. These black female suckers and these black male simps to give her. And these black male simps to give her. And these black male simps. 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 Give her $35,000 in just one day. Everybody was throwing money at her left and right, and now she's been able to scam over $42,000 while she's laughing at all the fools who believe her. <laughs> it didn't take long to come out that this wasn't her first time pulling off this same scam. You grew up, and they mad because you trying to be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor, and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't want to be up. I'm 30 years old, they don't want to be up. 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 Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. They don't want to do this to me. Very similar, huh? Same spill, acting like some man did something to her and men at the club put hands on her out of jealousy because she wanted to be a doctor. The same feminist lie and Miss Sandra's talking point that these idiots really believe. And even in that situation, she got thousands from GoFundMe. That was three years ago in 2020. So when you put two and two together and really look at everything with common sense, you will really start to see that something something just ain't right. You already keep sweating. Y'all was on our live last night, y'all would've saw the investigation we did, the uh, surveillance we did, the phone calls we made, the people we talked to, only to discover this was all a hoax. This was all a hoax, too. Only to discover this was all a hoax. After contacting the police, the internet contacted the police, the police has no report of the incident. After the venue owner right there where it happened check all of his surveillance cameras he alleges nothing like this ever happened that she just came out of nowhere with all these accusations the guys that were standing around in this video says they never saw the incident they just heard her screaming and yelling and yapping and they called the police she was out there acting crazy and, and ridiculous and they just said they left when the police got there but they never saw anybody hit her with the brick so long story short, this woman does a lot for views, likes, and GoFundMes. Go look at her GoFundMe history. Go look at her viral history. She does whatever she can to get viral. And the internet is believing that she did sustain real injuries somehow. But she used that to make money and to gain fame through uh, viral videos. And she knew it would work if she blamed black men. And look what happened. Black women lost their mind. They, all, they just start bashing black men all across the world because we're trying to hold her accountable like we did Carly Russell. The fact is, this was a hoax for viral views and the $32,000 that she's already raised on her GoFundMe, which she's done before. Shout out to this brother on TikTok. I'll leave the link below for you to see the rest. The woman totally lied. You even had a nurse who claimed that she put that solution in her face to get it to swell up and went to their clinic to get it drained out. You know who contacted me? The nurse. The nurse from the alleged hospital was not a hospital. It was a clinic. And this is what she had to say. Yes, she came in to get the saline extracted from the side of her face, which means she never got hit with a brick. She injected saline into her face to create the lump. That's why she wore the ski mask so y'all wouldn't see the lump that she created. And don't forget, she's in the medical field, so she has access to saline. 
Anyway, let's finish reading. She claimed it was a botched beauty treatment. That's definitely our med check, not the hospital. She must have filmed that little clip while waiting on the nurse after asking her to put on the gown. And y'all fell for this. Y'all fell for this. This is the nurse from the clinic. But I couldn't tell. She gave me other receipts, but I can't show you the re those receipts. She wanted to prove to me that this was fake. And she she begged me not to show you all those receipts because it could get her fired. So we are not going to give you those receipts. But I'm here to tell you, that woman's lying for money. Go to her Instagram. You'll see the other video when she did the same in 2020. And no, I don't feel sorry for none of y'all who believed her. Instead of throwing money at this apparent liar, you should have used that money for therapy because obviously you have some deep-rooted issues that you haven't worked out yet. This is why when you see any so-called black female victim, you immediately want to gravitate towards her for some quote, justice. No matter if she's not making any sense and can't provide you with any proof to substantiate her claims, you just believe her because believing her satisfies the little victim within you. Maybe you've gone through something at some point and could have been a real victim and nobody around you did anything about it. Whether it was your mama who allowed it or other family who allowed it. Y'all got people who made you a victim and nobody did anything about it. And then even now with yourself, you did nothing to heal yourself besides jump on social media. So instead of holding the people accountable for personally doing something to you, Y'all wait for the latest news story, the latest robber kills, the latest DV accusation, the latest black man y'all can find or situation, like somehow that's going to fix your situation. Go get therapy, go to the law, whatever you need to do. But your brokenness is allowing you to continue into this victim role and get you scammed by brick ladies. Y'all have literally been sitting up here arguing back and forth about protecting black women all over a lie from some Somali woman who played y'all like Lizzo's flu. Led y'all down this path of sabotage where you continue to be vulnerable to people like her. Over and over. It's disgusting. And that's all I got to say about this mess. I'm just so sick of this whole lie, the whole situation. But I do believe the brick lady should be investigated and held accountable. But of course, it's going to take the same people she scammed to hold her accountable. And they already invested their money and emotions into this lie. So you already know how that goes. Dr. Umar. Is this the example of black women that you tell black men to protect and provide for? Is this it? Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. And that's exactly why Pink Book Lessons is the GOAT. Not only does she give you accurate reporting, she'll give you logical deductive reasoning, some common sense, and then give you a psychological analysis for good measure. These chicks is sick in the head. And this is why I've divested from this black YouTube social media cesspool y'all got going on. <laughs> I mean, the men on here, they got issues. Yeah, some dudes on here got issues. But you know what's crazy? The men come on here and say they got issues. And, and they looking for outlets. The, the, the men are up front about that. But the women, and I've seen women like this in real life, like these type of nasty chicks that's online, but usually it's in the ghettos and in the projects. And only if I'm in close proximity to a hood near you, which I'm usually not. But now that they done gotten online, yeah, they done infected this whole shit. And now social media is one big gender war. If I'm not engaged in a gender war in real life, I refuse to be engaged in one online. You black women are being ruined by this shit. Y'all jump into every little fucking story y'all hear and projecting your full-blown hatred for black men online. Shit that you can't erase and can't take away. Only thing you can do is put it on private. But it's already out there. The frequency has already been sent. And once you trigger, there's no untriggering. Just like most of these news outlets don't recant stories. Hey, that story we did yesterday when we said that black man hit somebody with a brick, we take that back. 
There's no untriggering. Once you done sent out this frequency and you done triggered all the sisters and they go further into that pit of I told you so, all black men ain't shit. So all y'all doing is hyper reacting to all of these little stories that come out. And even if you find out the shit ain't true, by then you done stepped so deep in the shit, you can't recant. You done went so hard. Just like I saw. I see niggas out here going hard over this shit. A Mary Brown the most egregious. Because that's what he do. <laughs> Mary Brown sitting there with a, with a panel full of females. You know, going hard on black men. Pulling up every negative statistic he could find. You know, for a story that ain't even true. Was y'all girlfriend, wife, daughter, sister, mom's cousin, or friend that got hit with a brick? I'm gonna be so real with y'all, brutally honest. I'm gonna crash out. My mom, my sister, my cousin, my daughter, my girlfriend, my friend. I'm gonna crash out. You know why? Because I am okay dying behind them. Because you have to think, during any physical altercation with another person, you could possibly die. There's a chance you don't come back from that. You don't walk away from that. For my mom, sister, cousin, girlfriend, daughter, wife, whatever, my friend, I'm okay with that. With that, with that, I can take that risk and I'm okay with those consequences. I'm going to crash out behind my people. But for some random lady, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't, I'm not Spider-Man. I'm not Captain America. I can't do that. I'm not willing to die behind that behind a stranger who don't know my name who will probably never meet my parents who will ever who will probably won't even come to my funeral i can't because now i done tried to intercept and intervene and break up an assault domestic violence whatever the hell and i get cooked now my mom is down one my sister is down one my grandmother is down one my daughter is down one my friend is down one my cousin is down one everybody is down one because I wanted to be a superhero. I've never been called a bullet bag before. And I can admit that don't feel good in my chest. I don't. Damn. All because the video I made explaining in great detail how I would definitely risk my life and defend the black woman in my life. But how I'm just not okay risking that my body and my life for a stranger in this situation with a, with a brick being involved in weapons. And, and I'm a bullet bag. This makes me a bullet bag. But never in my life one time I ever spoke illy of black women, came against black women, but now I'm a bullet bag. Oh man, y'all done red pilled that young boy. That young boy said, I, I look up to black women. I love black women. And y'all gonna call me a bullet bag after I just made a logical statement that I'd protect my moms and my aunts and sisters, but probably wouldn't be as comfortable with a strange woman. And that makes me a bullet bag. Yeah, look at that boy's face, man. Yeah, that boy never heard such language. Gotta stay offline, young man. And this is why we don't crash out for random black women in Blackistan. Because they might share that exact sentiment. Call us bullet bags. <laughs> but I don't know why you brothers keep allowing yourselves to be trolled online by strange random women. These women know it's not your duty to protect them. These chicks is just gaslighting you dudes in the submission. Got y'all out here scrambling. Well, I would. And then chastising other men for saying, oh, well, this is women's. Yes, while destroying your image online, and especially since the invention of, of the Cynthia G's. But stop engaging these chicks, man. These chicks is sick. These chicks is sorry, man. Most of these broads is on meds, man. They taking meds off camera. So protect your neck, once said by Wu-Tang. They didn't say protect your neck and ladies wait for somebody to come save you from imminent danger. No, females protect your neck too. Get up in that gym. 
And shut the fuck up and keep your hands to yourself. And hone your situational awareness and you should be fine. You, you shouldn't need no Spider-Man to jump out of the bushes to save your ass for writing a check that your fucking ass couldn't cash. Y'all niggas is being... <laughs> Y'all being gaslit. <laughs> If you are not dating us, if you're not having some sort of physical relationship to us, if you don't find us attractive, if you don't find us polite enough, kind enough, quiet enough, that our lives are not worth protecting, is that what you're telling us? Is that the precedent you're setting? No, that is not exactly what we're saying because I find you very attractive and I still wouldn't help you. You know why my sisters, all five of my sisters have never had a domestic violence situation? Number one, because each one of them has married, I guess, decent brothers. My brother-in-laws, for the most part, are very decent men that I don't think would do that. But at the same time, they've all been expressively told, you put your hands on my sisters, you a dead man walking. Unless, yes, there is an unless. There are disclaimers. I said, unless my dumb ass sister burn your house down on some dumb shit, left the iron on. Or my sister gets caught cheating and you didn't cheat first. Now, if you cheated and she cheated back and you put your hands on my sisters, I'm fucking you up. Or you catch her abusing the kids. There's a point where her being my sister is superseded by you being her husband. And I would understand that. So, yeah, there is a disclaimer on that. I'm not even going to crash test dummy for my own sisters. But for the most part, they got all state coverage. But they return that protection by not putting themselves in harm's way. That's that situational awareness I was talking about. So goes hand in hand. But yeah, you fine. But I still wouldn't help your ass either. What is wrong with only wanting to protect the women who I want to protect? All the women who are in close proximity to me. All the women who I will gladly put my life on the line for. What is wrong with that? My mother, my girlfriend, my sisters, my cousins, my friends. If I want to put my life on the line for them, I will do it with no hesitation. Why should a stranger expect me to put my life on the line for them. Is that what you're telling us? Is that the precedent you're setting? Yes. The same way women will say, you're not my family. You're not someone I'm romantically involved with. You're not tall enough, handsome enough, rich enough, smart enough. I don't owe you a smile. I don't owe you words of encouragement. I don't owe you respect. I don't owe you any kind of gratitude. Men will hold the doors open for women and they won't even say thank you because I don't know you. The same way when you see a man down on his luck, you judge and laugh instead of offering him words of encouragement, speaking life into him. Why should I do that? That's a stranger. Things that don't cost you anything. You Society has protections for women that they do not have for men. So you're bound to see more men out here down on their luck and homeless. And a lot of you sisters don't have a good word and can't speak life into any of these men you see down on their luck. They're automatically a dusty to you. So if you can't even speak positive words to a strange black man, why should a black man risk his life for that same strange black woman? And I'm glad she said that too. Look at this clip by t Boss. Because of what? I'm I'm single on purpose right Because now. of what, though? Because I don't want to deal with another grown-ass baby. Now, what is tricky is this. A man who has a substantial amount of money, mm -hmm. it's nothing for him to boss up a woman who doesn't have no money. True. A woman who has a substantial amount of money, mm -hmm. she can't go down. She has to start at least where she is or higher true why is that because when you try to and i've tried to talk to somebody regular that, yeah um very insecure 
even even men who's supposed to be secure with money are insecure in my business because I'm around a lot of guys. Mm. Let's call this out right now. It don't make you insecure to not want your woman around a bunch of dudes all the time. It makes you dumb to be with that type of woman. So here it is. We got challenges in life. We got ups and downs. Everybody goes through them. I don't care if you're rich, if you're poor. There's ebbs and flows in life, whether it's life in general, issues with your family, could be issues at work, could be health issues. But t Boz doesn't want to have to nurture her man. And that's the nature of a woman, to nurture. So you want a man to live out his role as protector, but you don't want to live out your role as the nurturer. No, ma'am. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Oh, gratitude. Men will hold the doors open for women and they won't even say thank you because I don't know you. The same way when you see a man down on his luck, you judge and laugh instead of offering him words of encouragement, speaking life into him. Why should I do that? That's a stranger. Things that don't cost you anything, you will not give to a man that you don't know you don't want. But y'all expect these men who don't know you, don't owe you anything, and they have their own families at home that they need to get back to, y'all expect those men to lay their life on the line for you when y'all can't even give them a high smile or a thank you. Oh, okay. So, will Bush meet Bucci, retract the story that Tyreek Nasheed celebrated the attack on this Somali woman, this attack that never happened, I doubt it, and will a Mary Brown, a Mary, <sighs> you're so fucking thirsty for black female validation. You'll just get on here and attack black men with no evidence, just rumors and accusations. You know, and, and you've fallen for this trick bag before. But I guess you ain't learning your lesson. And all you black women out here that started attacking black men on social media over this hoax... And all you black male simps that started attacking black men over this hoax, you deserve a brick to the face.